This is Channel 9 Action News. Good afternoon, America, and welcome to Channel 9 News Center. Hi, I'm Mallory McIntosh, and in today's program, we'll recap all the major events of the 1960s. As you know, today's the last day of the decade, so here are some flashbacks of the nation's greatest memories. Let's start off with 1960. On November of 1960, John F. Kennedy wins the election by a slim margin. And I want all of you to know that uh, Certainly, if this trend does continue, and uh, he does become our next president, that he will have my wholehearted support. And, your and the results are in. JFK wins by a slim margin. Thank you, America. In the year of 1961, the Vietnam War officially begins. American helicopters arrive at Saigon, along with 400 U.S. personnel. Breaking news, we have just received urgent information that America has just officially entered into the Vietnam War. With U.S. troops increasing by the minute, America can only wonder what the outcome will be. Excuse me, sir, can I take your order? Yes, I'll have a Pepsi. Okay, coming right up. Thanks, cutie. Here you go, sir. Thank you. Pepsi, the grooviest refreshment around. Martin Luther King Jr. says one of his most famous speeches at the Lincoln Memorial. With its great impact on ending segregation, Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech was delivered on August 28th of 1963, in which he called for equality and an end to segregation. Now is the time to make real the promises of democracy. Now is the time to rise from the dark and desolate valley of segregation to the sunlit path of racial justice. Now is the time. Ladies and gentlemen, today we've just received breaking news. Today, JFK was assassinated at 12.30 p.m. on Friday, November 2nd of 1963. Kennedy was fatally shot while with his wife in the presidential car. As he entered into the Daly Plaza, Shots were fired at Kennedy. When he arrived at Parkland Hospital's trauma room, they determined the head wound was the cause of death. The nation will mourn of the loss of the great beloved man. Lyndon B. Johnson will now be sworn in as U.S. President. Repeat after me. I solemnly swear. I solemnly swear. To faithfully execute. To faithfully execute. The office of the Presidency of the United States. The office of the Presidency of the United States. And will do the best of my ability. And will do the best of my ability. To serve, protect, and defend. To serve, protect, and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. On February 21st, 1965, Malcolm X is assassinated. Breaking news, Malcolm X was recently assassinated in the Ballroom Audubon in New York City where he was giving his speech to the Organization of Afro-American Unity. Shortly after his arrival at the hospital, he was pronounced dead. This happened when a disturbance broke out in the crowd. He was shot 16 times. The person you know as Malcolm X is no more. The assassination of Malcolm X was an unfortunate tragedy. Here's the facts. Inflation continues to grow as part of the effect to fund the war in Vietnam. Both the U.S. and the USSR continue their space race to see who will be the first to land a man on the moon. The first Super Bowl was held today on January 15, 1967 at the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum. The Green Bay Packers defeated the Kansas City Chiefs 35 to 10. The Green Bay quarterback, Bart Starr, was named the Super Bowl MVP. And let's give a warm welcome to Bart Starr. Woo, go Packers! Yeah, no Packers on the way. So, how does it feel to win the first Super Bowl? Well, of course it's a great feeling, you know, all because of me, because I led our team through the victory. And, you know, it's just a great feeling to win the Super Bowl. And I heard that you were the MVP. Well, you heard right. And how do you feel? Well, it feels great to be the MVP. 
you know, again, I want to say to all my friends, my family, I love you. Uh, to all my supporters out there and fans, I love you so much. Stay supportive. You know, you guys rock. And just just thank you all. You know? And what are you going to do next? Me? I'm going to Disney. Shocking news, Martin Luther King Jr., who was known for his I Have a Dream speech, was assassinated at the Lorraine Motel in Memphis, Tennessee on April 4th of 1968. He was struck by a single bullet that entered the right side of his chin. He was immediately rushed to St. Joseph's Hospital, where doctors pronounced he was dead at 7.05 p.m. Martin Luther King Jr. was a very influential man and a great leader that the nation shall never forget. Protests became popular in the 1960s. Whether going against war or to promote love and peace, protests gave people the confidence that they could make a difference. Hi, I'm Ashley Holbay, and I'm out on the street looking for protesters. I see some now. Follow me. Make peace, not we war. Want peace. peace. No more war. Peace. Why are you guys protesting? Well, because we're sick of war. We're we done. need peace. We need to bring our we troops back home. We need to bring our home. troops home. Troops come home. We need peace right now. I'm sick of it. Peace. Peace. We need peace. Please. And there we have peace. heard it. Straight from protesters. Here's the facts. Neil Armstrong landed on the moon July 20th, 1969. Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin set foot on the moon and spent two and a half hours exploring. All of this was recorded when he spoke the famous words, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. They re-entered the hatch and flew home. America has won the race to space. It's the twister. Twister, twister, get your arms twisted and tangled. It's the twister, twister. Spin the spinner and call the shot. Left hand red. The twister ties you up in a nut. It's a twister, twister. And we're back from our flashbacks of the 60s. Replacing Mallory McIntosh, I'm Ashley Holbe. Thanks for tuning in to Channel 9 News Center. We hope you enjoyed the memorable moments of the 1960s. That concludes our show. Thanks and see you next time. Peace. Thank you so much, Bart. Oh, well, thank you. We met, we have to do that. And I heard that you were named the MVP. Well, you heard right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Isn't it amazing that we're in... Ugh, scratch that! Okay, now what do you plan on doing next? Me? I'm going to the Super Bowl. <laughs> I'm Ashley Holbe. Thanks for tuning in to Channel 7. <laughs>